Hi everyone, welcome back to Know Your English Grammar. Today we will be looking at the colon, one of the punctuation marks in English grammar. The colon is represented by two dots, as you can see here. There are a few simple rules that govern the use of the colon. Rule number one, use the colon after the salutation of a business letter, except when using open punctuation. As you can see here, our letter may be addressed to a few gentlemen or simply to whom it may concern. So we may put a colon at the end. Rule number two, a colon is used to introduce a quotation of one long sentence or of two or more sentences regardless of length. For example, the teacher responded to the student as follows. I understand your current situation at home, but you must make an attempt to get to school on time. The teacher responded to the student as follows is introducing the quotation made by the teacher, which is a very long sentence. So therefore, a colon is used at the end of of the introduction. However, if the quotation is a short sentence or part of a sentence, then we should use a comma instead of a colon, as shown in this next sentence. The student said, I agree. This is a very short statement and a very short quotation, so we just use a comma. Please note, if the quotation is a complete sentence, always start the quotation with a capital letter. Rule number three, a colon is used to formally introduce a list or an item. A formal introduction usually includes a word or phrase such as, as follows, the following, these, and this. For example, the table should be assembled as follows. Unfold the tabletop, attach the legs to the tabletop, then tighten all the screws. As you can see, this is a formal introduction, giving the instructions to assemble the table in a list form. Example number two. The following checks were not lodged. Number 2145, number 2146, and number 2149. A colon is placed after lodged just before we begin to list the checks that were not lodged. That sentence could also be written as, These checks were not lodged. Number 2145, number 2146, and number 2149. In example number three, the country's real problems are these, high inflation, a weak currency, and unemployment. The colon is placed after these. If we did not use the word these, we would not need a colon because our introduction would not be formal. Instead, we would say, the country's real problems are high inflation, a weak currency, and unemployment. Both independent clauses are joined by the word are, so we would not need to use a colon. However, in some sentences, the formal introductory expression, such as as follows, namely, which are, etc., is omitted but clearly understood. In such a sentence, use a colon. For example, we missed two buses, the 715, the 730, and the 745. We place the colon after buses, then we go on to list the buses that were missed. In fact, we are saying we missed two buses, namely the 715, the 730, and the 745. Do you notice that a colon is also used 
to separate hours from minutes when time is expressed in figures? Let's look at these times. 7, a colon, and 15 is saying 7.15, which is 15 minutes past the seventh hour. The same for 7.30 and 7.45. So you see, a colon is used in many ways. Our next rule, rule number four. A colon is used to introduce an example in a sentence. Let's look at this sentence. If he's going to fix the table, he will need all his tools. For example, a hammer, a screwdriver, measuring tape, and some bolts. The colon is placed after, for example, and just before we list the items he will need to fix the table. Our last rule, rule number five, a colon is used for emphasis. For example, the key to success is simple, hard work and determination. Because we want to emphasize what is the key to success, we had to use a colon to show we are placing emphasis on hard work and determination. If this sentence was, the key to success is hard work and determination, we would not need a colon and we would not get the desired impact that we wanted this statement to make. That's it for our lesson today. It was my pleasure bringing it to you. I hope you now have a better understanding of how to use the colon. For more English grammar lessons, please subscribe to this channel and let me hear from you in the comments section. See you next time.